Hello, welcome to part two of our Race for the Galaxy playthrough. This time we are, I mean, we're still going to be playing as a uh, Tammy Bird person against the easy AI here. Um, two player experience again and no expansion. Just so that we can get, um, we're going to focus on military. So uh, I'm not going to explain all the rules up front. Uh, I did that in the previous video. Uh, I will narrate as we go through, but I won't be explaining each part beforehand. So our start world is not that conducive to a military victory. It's old earth again. Yay. Uh, let's take a quick look at our cards. We have a novelty production world, which will get us a victory point. We have a jeans windfall world. We have the Rosetta Stone world again, which gets us a discount on alien worlds. We have the tourist world, which lets us consume two goods for three points. We have the mining six dev uh, for rare elements. And we have the Galactic Imperium again for rebel military and other military. So I want to keep the alien Rosetta world, I think. And the, this pre-sentient race. So, uh, I'm going to discard my two cards. I'm going to discard the Mining League and this Taurus planet. Alright. So, our first thing we're going to do is we're going to settle. We're going to explore and then we're going to settle. We're going to explore with our benefit of drawing two extra cards and keeping an extra card. Or drawing an extra card and keeping an extra card. And we're going to settle, hopefully, this one. Um, but if they choose to trade, we're not going to sell it. Because I don't want to have to consume this good for a victory point. I want to consume it for cards. So, great. We are only triggering the exploration phase and the settling phase. So, I drew three cards, of which I get to keep two. Uh, Space Marines gives us a plus two to our military. I'm going to keep that because I'm trying to do a military thing here. Free Trade Association is our uh, novelty good six dev. And the Merchant Guild gives us points per production world, not windfall world, production world. Uh, and you draw two cards whenever you produce. I'm not interested in keeping this one or this one. I am going to discard that one. And we'll say okay and then settle I'm going to settle hmm. I'm gonna settle that one for the merchant guild and that novelty planet cool so when you settle remember you get that extra card in hand so I'm going to one thing I want to do is sell this card uh, and because I have Old Earth, which gives me a plus one advantage to my genetics, to any good, uh, my genetics will be worth five cards instead of four. So I'm going to sell for sure. And I'm going to develop this little guy so that my military starts to grow. So I'm going to develop that one. So I get to develop. I'm going to develop him. Since I chose to trigger develop, I get a discount of one. So I'm only going to pay one card for that. Click OK. I tap OK. Uh, I'm not going to settle because I can't afford to settle this planet. So the computer just skipped that phase for me. And then it's telling me to go ahead and sell that good, which I will do. <gasps> what did we get here? So we have a military planet that we can actually conquer. It is at a level one. And our military now is at two. Imagine that. So... We could conquer this windfall and then sell the goods right away. That's an option. We have Secluded World, not interested. Alien Rosetta I'd like to get out, particularly because I have this alien planet now, which will cost five military to conquer. It's a stubborn old beast. And now we have this monstrosity, the Rebel Homeworld, uh, which is going to take seven military points. But you might recall that we have this Galactic Imperium, which gives us four military towards rebel worlds. So, really, I only need to have three general military, 
and my Galactic Imperium out. So what we're going to do is we're going to settle this Rebel Fuel Cash and then we're going to sell it. We're going to sell the good off of it. So we'll settle it. We don't have to pay any cards because our military meets that requirement. They also are going for a military thing. And then we're going to sell that for four. And now we have 11 cards. This is not a problem we ran into last video. So I have to discard one card down. I can tell you it's going to be this one because playing this would lower my military by one, which I don't want to happen. Great. We got some new planets. We got this reptilian uplift race, which we will have to conquer through military might. We need two. Um, which other new one did we get? New Earth. Mm, we can make a little pair of it with old Earth. We've seen that one. The colony ship allows, we can develop this and then we get to uh, discard it and place any of our cards out that aren't military and aren't alien worlds. So actually I could use the colony ship to settle this planet. That could be, that could come in the useful. Um, it's the only new one. So what are we going to do? Yep, we're going to confirm that discard for one. We are going to... We're going to do the six dev. We're going to get the Galactic Imperium out there. And... It'll cost us five cards. So one, two, three, four, hmm. and this one, five. And then we'll settle this planet. That's what we'll do. Oh, no. We'll have to trade it for points. Okay. So first things first. Well, hold on. We will develop it next time. I don't want to settle this one just yet because I'll be forced to sell that jeans good for a point on this card, and I don't want to do that. I want to sell it for more cards. I want to really get the fruits of my labor out on that reptilian planet. So instead, I'm going to develop this colony ship. Say OK. And then I can settle this Rosetta world for free. So really, that Rosetta only cost me one card. Well, it cost me two cards because I had to get the colony ship out there. So it's not that big of a discount, but I'll take it. Okay, so our military is at two, but our military for alien worlds is at a four. But that doesn't matter because this planet's at a five. So... Okay, so what we're going to do is, let's see, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to explore and then we're going to develop. Because I want to get that six dev out. So, between these new cards that we got, we got this Imperium Armaments World, Expedition Force, and Deficit Spending. We're going to get rid of this Imperium World, because I'm not going to want to settle a world that's not a military world. Even though that world would give me military power, it's not specifically a military world, so I don't want it. No more. Now, I can place this development, this six dev, which I'm going to do, and I'll pay one two, three, four, and five. And then they're going to trade their goods, and then we're going to produce. Now, now, I can develop this card, which will give me plus one to my military, which would allow me to settle this or this. It'll allow me to settle this because with this card, my military would be at five. And it would let me to settle this because with this card, my military for rebels is four plus two plus one is seven. 
So I'm going to develop this and settle this. And the next turn, I'll settle this and sell. That's what I'm going to do. Develop, settle. Develop that for free. Because since I triggered develop, it gives me a discount of one, and that's the value of the card. We're going to settle the Rebel Homeworld. Just going to give us seven points. And then they're trading again. And now we will settle and consume, because we will settle that alien planet. So we'll settle the alien planet, get an alien good, and since we triggered settling, we get a card in hand. We get to sell this alien good for six cards. Did we get anything useful? It doesn't look like it. We don't want to play that because it's going to lower our military. That's a military card, pretty neat. We still have that guy, which is promising. We could settle that one, it's a military. That... This card is neat. It gives us plus one when we sell a card. And whenever production is triggered, we can produce on any windfall world. And you'll find that a lot of military planets are windfall worlds. Uh, biohazard mining world, not too worried about. Drop ships are pretty cool. They give you plus three to your military. That's interesting. That gives us our discount of two. And consumer markets is for novelty. So right now we're both at nine cards played in our tableau. So as soon as somebody has played their 12th card, well, not as soon, but once that round is over, the game is over. I would like to get the Galactic Imperium or Galactic like, Empire, something, something. The Galactic something six dev card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to settle and sell. I'm going to settle this little... Oh, I can make a development. Hmm. It'll cost me four, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to do drop ships. Two, three, four. Oh, they're doing two developments. And then I'm going to settle this guy. And then I'm going to sell it for five. Oh, I didn't get what I wanted. No. All right. So now it's going to come down to where can I make the most points? Because if either of us settles or develops, that'll be our 12th card. And this is going to be the last round of the game. Um, they have no reason not to. I have no reason not to. So we're good. Um, mm. I wonder if it would be worth it to explore. If I chose explore and settle and hope that they chose like settle twice or develop and explore or develop and settle. I think I'm going to go for that. I don't want to settle refugee world. I could settle the new survivalists. Could settle on that, but I don't want to. Could settle that. That would give me a point. And it would give me... Because remember, my six dev gives me one point per military world and two points per rebel world. And this one is a rebel world. So I'm going to settle this. So it's going to end up being worth three points at the end. So we're going to choose settle and explore and hope that we get lucky. They chose develop twice. Oh. Okay. Dang. Yeah, okay. So these are the cards that I got. New Military Tactics, which is like the colony ship, but only for military strength. It temporarily increases your military strength by three for one round. Uh, deficit Spending we've seen. Research Labs we've seen. Alien Tech Institute is our six dev for alien cards. Uh, it gives you three victory points per alien production world, two victory points per alien windfall world, and two victory points per other alien card, including this one. I'm going to keep that because I'm going to play it. So we'll just get rid of these two. And then for our first development, we'll play that. That actually might be our only development. Let's see. One, two, three. We want to keep that. Four, five, six. That will be our only development. So we'll develop once. 
and then we will settle once and the game is complete there we go so the breakdown again is these are points on cards these are points that we got from victory point chips so chips in the um in the opposite of the last game nobody produced any like nobody consumed to get any of these points so it's good between the two games you've seen you've seen some different ways that things can shake out in this game um especially the two different in conditions for the game um so let's look let's look at the breakdown quickly um so my cards really the only ones that aren't face value are this one which ended up being worth eight points and this one which ended up being worth six so without six doves i would have been i would have had 14 less points 14 fewer points um where's our little our uh, nemesis here they had two six doves i think yeah they had the trade league they got seven points for that and they had the mining or the new economy and they got five points for that so they got 12 points for six devs and we got 14. so i mean if they they had a lot of military going on if they had gotten the galactic like the main military six dev that would have been that would have been a game changer um so that's race for the galaxy the app i will be making another video with uh one of the expansions thrown in um, see how that kind of mucks up the waters a little bit. Um, but again, I hope that this was helpful. I hope this was useful and I hope you have a nice rest of your day.